Hey everyone, Fire Princess here, and I have some super exciting news for you all. I am starting a second series that involves The Sims 3 and playing it in a medieval style as well. The name of the medieval challenge that we'll be playing in Sims 3 is called Ye Old Royal Kingdom Challenge. Uh, I'm gonna call it York for short. <laughs> we have eight family types and that includes supernatural sins, so we will actually start in this challenge with some supernaturals, so I'm excited for that. And the challenge that I'm using, it's actually been updated for all of the EPs and Sims 3 because this challenge actually was for Sims 2 originally, um, but it was updated by Natasha699 at Mod The Sims, which I will link below if you're interested. Another exciting thing for the challenge is I decided to recreate some of, well, all of the Sims 2 Pleasant View couples and place them in Sims 3 as their medieval version of themselves. So I think it'll be kind of fun to mess around with them. I do have new families as well, so we'll get a little bit of new, a little bit old, but I am only starting with couples, so like the Broke family, they don't have any children yet, they just have Skip and uh, Brandy, so. New videos are gonna come out every Friday, so we'll have the Medieval Charter Challenge on Wednesdays for Sims 2, and if you're interested in Sims 3, um, this challenge will be every Friday. I just want to have both series going at the same time, that way if anyone's interested in Sims 3, they have an option, and then if anyone wants to, to stick to Sims 2, they also have an option. I just really enjoy Sims 2 and 3, they're my top two favorite ones actually that I enjoy playing, so I wanted to add a Sims 3 challenge as well. But keeping it medieval since that's definitely way more fun for me. So I hope you'll enjoy the Sims 3 series that we get started as well. Let me know in the comments. For some general rules before we jump into Cass, I wanted to talk about the lifespan. So we are limited to a normal lifespan for humans and animals. I will be playing rotationally, which can be done with the Inras mods. I will have a link in the description below as well for how to do that for anyone who's interested. I highly recommend it, it's a lot of fun and it's the only way I would be able to play Sims 3 is if I can play rotationally. I enjoy playing all of the families too much to only follow one family through a legacy. Not my thing. The families themselves will be played for one week rounds. Um, so that will be seven days worth. Obviously I'll do a lot of cutting so you're not seeing any of the boring parts, but uh, that's kind of how their round, each round is gonna go. So behind me you'll see the world that we're using. We're actually using Praven. I'm so excited to be using this. It's um, It was originally done by Potato Ballad Sim, but I'm using the updated version made by Norn and Sims Midget. So it might look a little bit different if you don't have the original, um, or if you have the original and aren't used to some of the changes that they have made in it. But I highly recommend this world. We'll take a look at it at the end of the video because holy cow, it's gorgeous. But first, let's actually go through cast and we'll just do like a sped up version of what each of the families look like, who is like royalty and merchants and all the different classes, um, as well as some rules for each of the classes. So let's go ahead and get started with the royal family. Some of the rules that relate to royalty are that all the families have to pay the royal family 200 simoleons a week, which I actually might adjust this number depending on kind of if we feel like this is too light. I'm used to the medieval charter challenge level of taxes, so 200 a week just kind of seems really light. So we might play around with that number a little bit as we go along the challenge. The firstborn son will be the heir for the majority of the families. All children and teens will go to boarding school. Kind of a general rule for all of the families is that if the family cannot pay their bills, then they lose a rank. Women can't have a job, including self-employed. They can have sim servants. They're allowed to use ambrosia, so we'll have to figure out some kind of lore and ways to use ambrosia in the game. The royal couple is allowed to travel wherever they like in regards to France, China, or Egypt, and their weddings have to be public. Next up are the nobility families. 
You should recognize this first couple. I made the classic goth family, just a younger version of them. So Bella and Mortimer will be played with during this challenge. You'll recognize quite a few of the families as we move along, mostly because I thought it could be fun to have families that we recognize and know from The Sims 2 in their Sims 3 medieval version. So for nobility couples, the heir is the only child that goes to boarding school, all the rest do not. They gain a rank if only if the royal family loses their rank, so there can only be one royal family of course. Women can actually work in the nobility class. They are allowed some of the self-employed careers. They're allowed to have servants. They are not restricted on travel, so they can go to China, France, and Egypt. Their weddings must be public. Now, just as a, an extra side note, there will be monks and nuns, so there will be a, like a convent and um, a monastery uh, in the world. But the only thing with this is this will not be a household that is actively played in rotation. It will mainly be a place for non-air sims uh, to go. So if we have some extra sims who we don't really have a use for as far as just the ranking and if they're not an air and that kind of stuff, they could potentially be placed into the either the monastery or the convent or cloister and they cannot marry, they are not allowed to marry, so they would not be part of the um, like romance pool, essentially. And that will be a setting I will set up in Inras whenever we get there. I'll be right back with more rules once we finish out the Gifford family here. A couple of vampire specific rules in relation to the nobility class is, well and vampires in general, is that the first born vampire child is the heir, regardless of if they are male or female, and vampires are allowed to bond Hilda's closet. The merchant class will have all families that you'll recognize, so I'm excited for you guys to see them in their, their Sims 3 version. For merchants, the firstborn son is the heir, of course, but uh, the only reason he would not be is if he is enemies with his father. So if he is an enemy, if the firstborn son is an enemy of his dad, then the next son will be the one in line to become heir. And the first, the heir is the child that will go to boarding school. Any other children who want to go or could go to boarding school, um, the family would have to pay an additional 2,000 smolians on top of just whatever the normal boarding school fee is. The merchant families can actually gain a rank if they have more than 100,000 smolians. So that's just kind of their mile marker to reach to the next class. So I think gaining rank, at least for this challenge in comparison to the medieval charter challenge, might be a little bit easier, just because it's more like simoleon milestones than it is like a whole bunch of other criteria to rank up. 
women in the merchant class cannot work unless they are married and then once they are married they can only either help with the business that the merchant has like if it's a uh, you'll see I, I got some mods to do some kind of like open for business-esque type businesses for Sims 3 so we'll see kind of how those work but Either way, they can either help with that kind of business or they can become um, one of the self-employed options. Merchants can only travel to Egypt, so they are restricted a little bit on their travel. And weddings can be public or at home. Okay, I'll be back again once we've seen each of the merchant couples. Last but not least are the peasant class. This one you'll recognize about half of the families and then the other half will be various occult types and you'll see them as we go along with some of the rules here. So I'm kind of thinking for how we'll choose the heir for, pe for the peasant class is whichever child has the highest relationship with the dad. Um, and if there are, if there's a tie for any reason, um, between a child, you know, a couple different children and the dad, then we'll do a die roll to see who will actually become the heir. Peasants gain a rank in class, so they would become a merchant class if they have 60,000 simoleons. So again, just the, the simoleon milestone for rank ups here. All animals in the peasant class have to be strays. They cannot purchase any animals and they have to live outside. So that'll be kind of interesting. I'm not used to having to keep the, the pets outside, so we'll have to make sure to lock doors, the poor things. Women can work any of the peasant jobs, so they'll get a lot more just ability to help around the house in that way in the peasant class. 
No school is allowed for any of the peasant children, so we'll make sure to keep them away from school. I'm probably going to use the NRAS, like, homeschooling mod to try and simulate that. Peasants can only travel to Egypt. Their weddings are only in home. Alright, last time. I'll be back with more rules in a second. Now, witches are considered a peasant class, and they have some specific rules as well. The firstborn mage is the heir, so male or female, um, whoever is firstborn and is a witch will be the heir. They will start with one cat, so we, we have one sim here, as you see, and she gets one cat to start immediately, and she can purchase cats, she or he. Um, but dogs and horses have to be befriended uh, through strays only. They can't purchase them. But they can also befriend and adopt unicorns, which is kind of cool. And witches are the only sims who are allowed to use the inventing, alchemy, and chemistry tables. For werewolves, we have just a couple of rules that are added on to the normal peasant type rules. So werewolves are, of course, considered a peasant class. Their firstborn werewolf child is the heir, so regardless of male or female. And those are really the only rule differences for werewolves. Now fairies have some specific rules as well. They are going to run more like a matriarchy. So the firstborn fairy daughter is the heir for the fairy class. They are considered part of the peasant class, of course, so they are the, the lowest class possible here. Fairies are allowed to adopt unicorns, so that could be kind of fun to mess around with. I haven't played with the unicorns too much in Sims 3. And fairies are actually allowed to use ambrosia, so I think we could tie that in with the royalty family in that maybe the fairies are the ones who provide the royalty class with ambrosia once we have a sim that can grow that essentially but we'll see what we can kind of do with that now that we've seen the families i want to take a look at the beautiful beautiful world praven i'm going to call it praven it might be Praven. i might switch it around sometimes when i'm talking about it one of the really cool things about Praven is that it actually comes with its own lore. I will do my best to incorporate the Praven lore that was created in the gameplay as we go. I am going through the document and just kind of noting down like which lots are certain things and what kind of kind of history that some of the buildings have and like even the, the districts of the town. As we go through here, you'll kind of see them. As we kind of go around and peek around the world here and just kind of see what the world looks like overall, I just want to go over some of the general rules for the challenge. And side note, I'm definitely not going over like every single rule that there is. I'm just kind of pulling out ones that seemed more important to talk about. So aliens and genies cannot join the families. I might change this around because I really do like occults and... I really enjoy aliens, actually. I, I have a soft spot for aliens, and mostly because of Sims 2, so I kind of... We might manipulate that rule a little bit, but we'll kind of see what ends up happening, like how often people are, or Sims are abducted. Only Sims who have gone to school can read books. The only exception with that will be any Sims who have the genius trait. 
wives are going to take the status of their husbands. So they could lose a rank, gain a rank, stay the same, all based on whatever their husband's rank is. Illegitimate children take on their mother's class unless the mother is royalty, in which case they will take on their father's class. Risky Woohoo will be for all Woohoo interactions. One of the challenge rules in the actual document says that you have to try for a baby each and every time, but I think our world will explode a bit <laughs> if we did that. So I am going to limit it to where we will do Risky Woohoo. So that way there's still the risk of a pregnancy, but without bloating our file too large. Um, especially because Praven, as you can tell from what we've seen, it's quite a large world actually, and I am a little worried about that to be honest. Um, with how the performance will be as we're playing, but uh, we'll kind of play that by ear. I don't want to make it potentially worse by having just way too many sims <laughs> by trying for a baby every time. So there are actually two types of random occurrence scenarios that will be used during this challenge. The first type is called the monarch effect. This effect changes with every new king on the throne and it will be rolled for. I'm not going to go over each of the options right now because we can kind of do that as we have a new king on the throne every time. Kind of think of it like this. So one of the roles is we have a greedy king, which would mean higher taxes for the rest of the world. Or maybe we have a king who likes um, horses and is really into bringing publicity to the horse ranches. So more horses would be allowed um, to be bought per household. Just that kind of idea. So there's like certain little effects that each monarch would have that would actually affect the entirety of Praven and how either the taxes are or maybe just limits are restricted more so or less so or that kind of thing. So that'll be good. And the second type of random occurrence scenario is actually every four rounds. This is one thing that I'm still kind of going back and forth with because we have a lot of fun, I think, with the Medieval Charter Challenge and doing a random occurrence scenario with each family for each season. So I'm kind of... Every four rounds just seems very light, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like we could make it even a little bit more crazy. This random occurrence scenario is actually for a global effect on Praven, which is why I'm kind of leaning towards just leaving it as is. Essentially, we're rolling for like, say, war happens, so 5% of all of our money needs to go to the king. Or there's a plague, so we have to roll a dice to determine how many sims die. Or there's like a religious uprising, and sims have to place all their skilling items in their inventory to never use them again, and they'd have to buy all new ones if they wanted to use them. So that's kind of why I'm like, well, I don't want like every family each season is going to roll for war or plague or whatever, you know what I mean? Like they're kind of too general. But we might even add a f third type of random occurrence scenario where we roll kind of like we do for the medieval charter challenge, but... I don't know, we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. If it feels like it needs another random occurrence scenario, we'll put it. But for now, we're going to keep it where it's only these two types of random occurrence scenarios. And please feel free to give me your thoughts on that too. If you want to see more random occurrence scenario, I can, you know, take that into consideration. All right, and with that, I hope you all are as excited as I am to begin this challenge. And I will see you guys on Friday with the Sims 3 Yeol Kingdom Challenge.